So it's January 24th, 2017, and the e-sheen chaser has arrived. It showed up in this nondescript cardboard box here. It's an 88 millimeter, almost ready to fly FPV racing drone. And of course, you can tell by the lack of box art and the 3D printed camera mount that they're still working on this thing. They have been producing a large number of FPV racing drones recently. And compared to the e-sheen QX90 and the e-sheen QX90C, I don't know the brushless motors versus the brushed motors when you start getting down to this size because these are very very tiny and they're not that much bigger you know than these brushed motors here the speed difference isn't you know as dramatic as it is between the Falcon 120 the Falcon 120 you can actually take this to the races and hang with the 250s and the 150s and this thing has been brilliantly programmed I mean you can turn on a dime at full throttle and of course, you know, these QX90s here, the QX90 and the QX90C, by the way, if you have a QX90C, get you a camera mount off of one of these turbine uh, X73s and get the camera off of the turbine X73 and throw it onto your QX90C because the original camera and the original mounting system just did not work, but this actually gets phenomenal range. It's much lighter and it works much better, so give that a try. But the Chaser 88 here, I have to say, you know, it's a nice little palm size racer, and uh, I'm really curious how this is going to compare to the Aurora, which should be out really soon, about the same size class with the ducts on it. So we're going to take a look at that, but let's take a look at the flight. Hey, look, that's that's Venus right there. That's that's Venus, and Mars is actually right up above it. There's just a little bit too much up. You might be able to see it. You're not going to be able to see Neptune because it's way too far away, but Neptune's actually right below. Let's get this thing a little test out. Okay, we are in a Walmart parking lot here, and we have the Chaser 88 millimeter brushless quad rotor there, and we have our E Sheen 5802D LCD monitor. This is going to be recording the video stream that you guys see. I'm actually going to be seeing a little bit clearer video through uh, the uh, E-Sheen Goggles 2 here with the uh, diversity receiver. They've got a pretty decent picture on them. And we're going to try and take a look at the difference between this little brushless 88 millimeter quad rotor and this little brushed quad rotor here. This is the E-Sheen QX90C. And we're also going to see if we can take a look really quick at this which is Isheen's Falcon 120. So basically you've got three different classes here. You've got your, your 40 gram, 90 millimeter aircraft here. This one is actually 88 millimeters, but brushless, and it weighs uh, about 90 grams. And this one weighs about 220 grams all up weight, and it is uh, fully brushless. This is your racer, this is your midsize, and this is your lazy flyer. All right, let's try out the Eugene QX90C first. This is a brushed racer here. Let's see if we get our video signal. That's about our range right there. Watch out for that wall. We'll have video signal craps out by the wall there. Okay, well that's about our full range there. That's as far away as I'm gonna to want to get this thing right here. Unless maybe I find a cleaner channel. That is about our full range.
getting a lot of interference on this channel. Okay, let's try out the uh, Chaser 88 millimeter brushless palm size quad over here. And of course, I'm going to use my FSI 6 and select models. See, we Falcon 120. No. Ready to fly. Same transmitter, manage charge. I just gotta clean up that video for a bit, and that's really not that big of a deal. Of course, see more how fast we can run. And that's about how fast you've run, and that's my full throttle going.
This just arrived in the mail today. This came from Ishi. It's called the Chaser 88 because it's 88 millimeters from there to there. Um, this one's pretty new. It's still a prototype. You can see this is a 3D printed part right here. I'm pretty sure they'll replace this camera mount with something else in the future, but let's plug it in, test it out. Decent, yeah, good range. It's about as far as I really want up. Oh, yeah, that's as far as you really want to push it around an electrical pole or telephone pole. So that's about our range there. Very nice range. Seems to be performing all right. I mean, it's really handling these uh, little turns. I'm getting static right there on that turn. So that's the Ishin Chaser 88, I believe is what it's going to be called. And it is screaming at me to unplug that battery and recharge it. Because 450 milliamps and four little brushless motors and an all-in-one video transmitter draw is a lot of power. So you're probably going to get max four or five minutes worth of flight. But I mean, it flies all right. It's uh, not going to turn as hard as a Falcon 120 is. Man, that Falcon 120, I think, I think is uh, very, very nice. But when it comes to, you know, under a hundred millimeter uh, racers, you know, that's a nice palm size racer for you right there. Uh, definitely check it out. As always, we appreciate you tuning in to RC 101 with the Dallas Flyer. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more.